not sure what I'm going to do today. Um, getting the car inspected, I know that much. So, yeah, I'm going to do that and see what I mean. We'll figure it out. So here at this Valvoline oil change place, this is where I get my car inspected, my oil change, all that good stuff. But it also, and I've shown you in a past video, this was where the Drawbridge restaurant used to be a long time ago. I'll show you a picture right here, what it used to look like when it was the Drawbridge. And we've decided to go to Matthews, North Carolina. It's like a suburb of Charlotte. It's a wonderful little town. And right behind me is Town Hall. The thing about Matthews, it's kind of split up. It's kind of mixed where you have new Matthews and you have old Matthews. And they're kind of mixed together. So we'll walk around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So right here, you've got a newer, I want to say newer. Uh, it's been around for a little bit. But this is the Town Hall and Library. They're kind of mixed together. It's a beautiful building. I love the clock up there too. It... Uh, it's a little after 10 o'clock, but yeah, I love this. You kind of blend it in to the different structures here in Matthews, kind of give it that older look as well. And then I want to show you this cool train depot that's right next door. Here it is. Here is the Matthews train depot. Looks like they've completely restored it too. And uh, got a couple of these structures. I, I think there's one just down the road a little bit on the rail line. Um, but if you remember, if you check out my uh, wax saw video, there's Seaboard. Remember that train station we went to? That was Seaboard also. So here is the Seaboard caboose right here. And here's a better look at the rail station here, Railway Express Agency. And there's the rail line, it goes right through town. I'll walk along here real quick. I just, again, love the architecture of the old train depots. It looks like they're offices now. Yeah, that's what they are. And visitors, okay, it's offices and visitor center inside there are closed right now but yeah here's the rail line going through here and there's the uh, main post office right over there across the street beautiful homes back in there again you get that old southern charm to the homes victorian and again the greek revival structures all through here and here is the caboose right here completely restored it looks like come up here and have lunch they don't serve food, I don't think, no. But uh, it's cool to uh, see this completely restored. Let's see if we can see inside. Yeah, there's the, let me get right at There you go, there's the kitchen right there. I wonder if they use it for anything for events and stuff. But um, that is so cool that they've restored this. Seaboard, airline, railroad, to the heart of the south. There you go, right here. Let's see if we peek in there too. Yeah, a little room, yeah, a little bedroom, seating area for the engineers. Well, this is really nice. Matthews, North Carolina, train depot. And again, we'll, we're going to walk around town and show you some of the older structures too. I'm going to show you the new stuff and the old stuff. But down that way, uh, there you, I'm not sure if this was the original rail depot here that was down there or if there's two of them. So, But we'll go check and see what's down there. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I just love bringing these small towns to you guys. If you've never made it to the south, or if you plan on coming, you know, check out these towns. They're great places to stop into, see the, the shops, and just the charm of the south. That's what it's about. So, yeah, but I enjoy bringing you to these locations. I hope you enjoy it. But, uh, yeah, we'll go walk around some more. Yeah, you've got this nice little park right in front of the city hall right here. Lovely shade trees. Just have a picnic here. There's like a little gazebo on the other side. Bring your dog through. Very dog friendly town, of course. Most of these small towns in North Carolina are very dog friendly. So you bring your dog with you, walk around town, get something to eat. You can get some breakfast or lunch or dinner. So our restaurant was here at one time, Bean Town. Looks like they closed, unfortunately. 
But yeah, there's a lot of restaurants along here too. This is kind of the newer section right in front of City Hall. But they kind of want to make it that Main Street USA look to it. You know, Thai restaurant right there, your salon. Um, you got a crepery right there called Royal Cafe and Crepery. Love my crepes. Here you go, right here. So that's kind of cool that they have this. A lot of variety. We're going to head down that way towards Old Town Matthews. Everybody's out here enjoying a cup of coffee and dessert and breakfast, all that good stuff. So we'll walk down this way. This right here is uh, Six Grogs neighborhood game bar guessing they have billiards in there too looks pretty cool and right next door you got this wine cellar over here with a christmas tree looking um with wine bottles we'll check that out and this is the matthews wine cellar little christmas tree there decorated with wine bottles but yeah eat drink and gather right there matthews wine cellar so where we were just at was matthews station street that way and now we're on north trade street along here this is the main drag right through matthews we got a cigar shop 105 cigar company right there and this place looks like it's real busy called brakeman's it's a coffee house right there but people are just pouring in to matthews right now such a cool town it is memorial day weekend so i did want to stop in here and we're gonna head down that way and show you some more of the town, of course. A lot of the old town's right down here. And let's see what we got here. Did see another see that restaurant right here, too. Looking for the name. Is it Mo Brew? Coming soon. Okay, Mo, so it's called Mo and Brew. Coming soon right here. So we probably won't do it today, but this is the Matthews Heritage Museum. They're open on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. You move over here so you get a better shot if you want to find out more information. Also, the history of Matthews. There's their website right there. And their hours are right on the door. So today is 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. The admission is $4 for adults, $2 for ages 11 through 17. No charge for under 10, you know, 10 and under. Uh, so, And every first Saturday, it's no charge at all. Just don't bring your food and drink in. So this is literally probably about 20 minutes from our home. So it's not a real long... Uh, John from South End Charlotte and there's a seaboard tap room Wine bar that's pretty neat right there a lot of outside seating also here too with the cigar companies right next door and then behind me Is the pizza peel tap room right across the street tons of outdoor dining right here and That's where we started over there with City Hall Matthews is hopping today Matthews is a busy town. They have a lot of festivals here. One of the most well-known festivals in Matthews is Stumptown Festival. And there's a lot of history to that. I'll post that in the uh, description of why it's called Stumptown. And it, it, does have, it does have something to do with stumps. We'll walk down that way in just a little bit. But that's, it, I'm thinking that's where the old depot used to be. I could be completely wrong, but it looks like it's really nice down that way. And Matthews reminds me of Bowling Rock, North Carolina. But down here near Charlotte, not in the mountains, but yeah, it really reminds me of Blowing Rock. Some more cool buildings here. I love this. Love this right here. And again, you'll see a lot of that in the south. This, these designs here, and the, look at the windows with the cool molding over the top of the bricks. You got the stars there, kind of act as anchors. Very decorative. But right here, you do have the portrait gallery, a restaurant and bar. So. <laughs> Don't let that fool you. I don't. I guess they don't do portraits there anymore. But it is a restaurant and bar. Providence Floors is right next door. Let's see what else we got here. So here you have toys, gifts, and books. They don't really have a sign out, out front to really tell you until you look underneath the awning. Then right here is M&M. Uh, hardwood flooring. Woohoo! And years ago, back in the 80s, when I used to cycle quite a bit and uh, compete years ago, it's back in the 80s, Matthews, we actually rode through Matthews quite a bit and they still do as part of their training route for cycling. And it looks like right in downtown, they have a little greenhouse here growing tomatoes, asparagus, all kinds of vegetables through here. And it's part of the Matthews hardware store, which is, I believe, one of the original stores that's still operational here in Matthews. So it's Renfro Hardware and General Mercantile, or Mer I'm sorry, General Merchandise, opened in 1900. This is the original spot, still here, operational, and unfortunately, 
it's closed on Saturdays. But yeah, it's been there over 120 years. Pretty crazy, huh? But it's still operational and going on. It has historical marker here, right there on the wall. A lot of traffic going through. Busy town, busy town. A lot of personality. Got Moxie Mercantile there. Uh, Sante, fine dining restaurant. So, very cool. And there's the Carolina Beer Temple, where you worship for beer. It's got a retail shop in there too. Wow, it is active here at the farmer's market right here at Matthews. Walk down there and check out all the goodies they have. And look at this mural right here. Local folks, local farms, local food. Eat local, fresh, and healthy. But yeah, there's a lot of farms just outside of uh, Charlotte and right outside of Matthews. A lot of horse farms too. A lot of horses are raised here like equestrian, riding horses, stuff like that. All right, let's go down there and see what goodies they have. So we'll do a quick walkthrough of all these different uh, booths here and different farms. They'll have the name of their farm too. Like that's uh, Nut Hill Farms right there. And then you got Carolina chair and baskets. So they actually do stuff uh, as far as making weaving baskets and chairs. Then over here, you got your coffees right here. Go down this way. Oh, we got honey right down here. Honey goodness. More vegetables here. All fresh. You got live music too. Okay. More coffee. That smells good. That just came barreling right up my nostrils. <laughs> got a little uh, truck there with food. Wood fired. 90 seconds pizza. That sounds good. There's a community house right there. Staff only. Can't go in there. Got bird houses right here. More vegetables. You got fresh fish right there. He's holding a fish in his hand. <laughs> well, this is pretty cool. I can definitely come back here and uh, get some fresh vegetables, tomatoes. Actually, I might pick up something today and bring it home. Hot pepper herb farm right there. Uh, Great Falls, South Carolina. All kinds of different herbs here to choose from for your garden. Yep, there it is. Hot pepper herb farm. All locally grown. Get your garlic, get your mushrooms. Right there, look at all the mushrooms. Oh, those look so cool. Those look awesome. Yummy, I'm a big mushroom nut. I love mushrooms. More honey. Oh, spices smell good. More vegetables here. You see, like I said, you see their, their banners, which farm they're from, on the back of their booth. So cool. I might have to go back and get some coffee. So this is the main thoroughfare right here. Uh, it's like West John Street and North Trey Street right here. People coming in. And they do have a Mac Speed Shop in town. Love this restaurant. Some really, really good barbecue right here. They have uh, ribs, uh, brisket, chicken, of course, beer, <laughs> all kinds of different drinks. But this is Max Speed Shop. We live in the original one, or we have the original one right here. We don't live in Max. Sometimes I wish I did because I love barbecue so much. But yeah, this is Max Speed Shop. So while you're downtown, you will see a little signs like this here where it tells you to go to. If you want to go to the Town Hall, Library, Farmer's Market, and the Full Wood Theater. So those will be posted around town. Certain little areas of interest within Matthews. And the cool thing about doing these videos for you guys is I get my exercise. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the only time I do during the week. And you'll find a lot of these in these small towns. You have a little shopping square here with all these little boutiques and little shops along here. This is uh, Griffin Square, right here, right next to downtown Matthews. And here is the First Baptist Church of Matthews. There's the bell tower right there. And this right here, the pillars, looks like this is probably the original part of the church. And over here, some of the newer stuff, 
but uh it's a beautiful church love the stained glass in the windows kind of go over here i'm trying to see when it was established i want to find that out it doesn't say down here sometimes there's a little marquee right here that's a beautiful church yeah i love the pillars it's really nice and then back way over there is a community center i gotta do some more, more research i was thinking that at one time that may have been the school um if you're if you live in matthews and you know the old community center was that a school and if it was what was the name of it originally i was thinking it was a school a long time ago so we are in the community art district of matthews and this is the mcdowell art center right here it's got a beautiful painting on the side there big sunflower and uh water wheel you got this cool statue out front it looks like a crane right here very nice but yeah this is the art center right here okay so just behind here's the uh, community center right here so just behind it is the full wood theater right here and there's the entrance right over here so if you're ever in town and you need to find the theater to see your show it is right behind the community center there's the entrance to the theater right there looks like they're doing some restoration to the building that's nice yeah that's kind of cool how they've converted this into the theater right back here for all your live shows I just want to get this shot here of this canopy of the trees you're going to find that all over Charlotte and Matthews, a lot of the towns uh, right next to Charlotte. Charlotte itself has probably one of the biggest canopy of trees, probably in the, the south. I mean, it's massive, just tons and tons of trees. And uh, we would have had a lot more, but in 1989, when Hugo hit, oh my, <laughs> we lost a lot of trees. But we still have that huge canopy of trees providing that wonderful shade. And there's the Matthews Fire Station. Station number one, right there. Engine number 12. So they're slowly pulling out the engines here. I'm wondering if it's wash day, which it probably is. They're probably gonna wash these guys up. It's a great day. Look at the skies, clear as a bell. That beautiful Carolina blue skies. But yeah, I'm wondering if they're about to, yeah, they're pulling them all out. It's gotta be wash day. I don't know if you can see him or not, but there's that buzzard. He's got himself, uh, I think, it's some uh, roadkill that he's pulled off the road and put it in his yard. He's going to town on it. But yeah, he, he's doing his job cleaning up the roadkill. Such a cool house right here. Kind of reminds me of Ernst's house <laughs> where they filmed it down in Florida. Kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Pretty cool. And this is the Masonic Temple, it looks like, right here. Not sure the history of this building, but it's been around a while. Sure looks like it. And retired U.S. flags deposited there. Okay. Because they do have those ceremonies for the flags. That's real nice of them to do that. But yeah, this is a really cool building right here. And here is the Stumptown Park. We'll walk around to check it out. And like I've shown you in past videos, you do have a town map. So it tells you where everything's at. You've got your all your numbered buildings and what's there in each of those buildings and we are right there so here is the stage we have a uh, live concerts entertainment all through here beats and bites last friday of the month so that's april through september paying around here so here you go you set up a uh, little picnic here get your sheets your towels your chairs set up here enjoy the music and in the back of the park you do have a war memorial up there at the top and here is your memorial the names are on there too of the ones that have given the ultimate sacrifice and all theaters of war right here and this is by the rotary international club right here and of course you got your placard right there when it was dedicated it's not too long ago november 11th 2020 then over here are your uh, stones marking each of the wars that we have participated in since world war one 
right there. In this sculpture here, it's called Display Affection, back in 2013. That is really nice. It's got all these different figures and objects within the sculpt itself, shaped like a heart. Of course, your town has to have a Chinese restaurant, right? And that's Ming Fu. They also serve sushi. And this is the Reed House. And it's available for uh, events. And there's our phone number and website. Kind of pan over here. Look at this beautiful Victorian home. This huge, I think that's an oak tree in the front yard. And then these massive magnolia trees. Kind of walk along the side here of the Reed House. Really nice gardens in the back, nice backyard with a gazebo back there. But they do like weddings and all kinds of events right here. It's a beautiful home. And it's like they have this back here too. It's like an old garage they converted. Let's see, it says cars only. So it still is a garage, I guess. You have a whole barn back here too. That's pretty cool. Walk over there and check that out. Yeah, these are so cool. So you got a brand new tin roof on top there. I love they kept that up. That's really nice. I love just the old wood. A lot of personality to these old barns, carriage barns. Great for storage still too. And they were well built back in the day. So a lot of these are still lasting out there on the farms just outside of Matthews. So there's more parking off the main street back in here. Kind of walked over here, went across from main street this way. I'm parked way on the other side, but parking along the rail line right here. There's wonderful walks. There's a lot of uh, new construction and also refur refurbishment, what it looks like through here. I wanted to show you this. So they're doing some stuff over here and uh, I'm not sure if that's refurbishment or if that's an actual working construction, but it looks like there are shoveling stuff out hopefully that's going to turn to maybe an office park at one you know coming up or more restaurants and all that good stuff so where i'm walking to now straight ahead of me is kind of a new part of matthews literally it's just right off of uh, historic downtown matthew so everything's walking distance not far from uh anything really just park i'm doing a big circle so everything is just walking distance here in matthews so here is the new town center or just another extension of the, the uh, town center it is all new here more lofts here and apartments it's really nice and uh still the trees back there too and um so here a lot of your retail new retail jet's pizza a lot of restaurants more shopping all through here and here's a little medical center right there convenient and I'm, I might grab something. Haven't really eaten anything pretty much all morning. But there's pizza right there. There's De Detroit style. It's okay. Also, oh, it's Jet Pizzas, Detroit style pizza. And um, another place right next door here. I mean, look at all this shopping. All along here, all kinds of restaurants. Witch Witch, Superior Sandwiches right there and uh see these are all retail all kinds of shopping all through here here you go check this out matthews north end district so they started building it in 2013 so it's about eight years old um but they're still adding so a lot of this, some of this is brand new like you have the urgent care over there and uh so bira gourmet burgers and beer right there and i'm gonna go around here i think there's more down that way oh they have a rocky mountain chocolate factory here too <laughs> yummy and you get this nice little park here in between the lofts and the uh, restaurants with that cool sculpture in the middle very nice and i haven't tried this out yet but it's jekyll and hyde's tap house and grill i heard they're really good i'm gonna try to get a picture of the inside of this restaurant. I've been wanting to eat at one of these for a long time. So if you have not ever been in at Jekyll and Hyde's, this is it. Kind of a steampunk theme to it. Awesome restaurant. You got these cool steampunk guitars too and the artwork and some of the uh, uh, wall mounts just all steampunk themed. 
get that beautiful mural up there above the kitchen. And but yeah, see all the gears and stuff. It just really and, and the food smells awesome. And check out these light fixtures here. <laughs> so creative. Very cool. Yeah, I love these. And there's the Jekyll and Hyde up there at the top. And then I want to show you these cool guitars right up here above the doors. Check that out. That's yeah, pretty neat. And look at the taps right here with the gears. Get your beer right there. Jekyll and Hyde beer. Yeah, I just love the theming in here. Oh, here's another one of those guitars right there. That's pretty cool. But yeah, this is so awesome. I love the wood too. It's beautiful. So yeah, and I'll post in the description uh, where this is located. And also they have other locations and also their menu. And I'm going to check out this antique store. Antique collectibles, furniture, unique gifts. And it's called Vintage Keepers. I've never been in here. Vintage Keepers, really nice store. A couple in there owns it. Very, very nice. They're very uh, um, cordial. Great to talk to. And, uh, but yeah, I'll have all their information in the description below. And across the street there is uh, Christopher's Sports Bar and Restaurant. That place looks like it's pretty huge. And here is Breakman's again. You saw earlier coffee and supplies. Looks like they're serving lunch right now. They have a cute little back area to eat in as well and here's the back area as so we enter here if you want to eat outside in the back garden area here's some cool artwork still here looks like an old milk canister turned into a sunflower check this out this guy's riding a bike through town right there any of that lovely mural right there matthews established in 1879 in the carolina beer temple craft beer bar and retail shop has this really nice outside eating area I'm sure it's really cool at nighttime too and last but not least you have this cool restaurant here kind of williamsburg style to it well there's an irish restaurant here let's see grace o'malley's irish pub there you go grace o'malley's irish pub house right here it has ample seating outside. It's probably the outside bar too. Let's walk over there. Yeah, outside bar over here. And over here, we've done full circle now. So here's Stumptown Station with some more retail and some office space right here. But this looks so cool. And I like to ask when I'm in restaurants or public places, it's okay to shoot inside, but this is the inside of Grace O'Malley's Irish Pub. This, check that out, that's pretty cool. But yeah, this looks awesome. Really nicely themed. You really get that Irish Pub feel to it. Love the Jameson Irish Whiskey light fixture. That looked pretty cool in there. But yeah, I'll have information on this place as well in the description. So we've done full circle, Matthews, it definitely was a walkthrough. It's, I mean, all kinds of cool little nooks and crannies, cool shops, boutiques, restaurants, bars, just, uh, you can name it, it's here. A lot of history as well. But yeah, uh, definitely come to Matthews. Hope you enjoyed my walk around. Get my exercise for the day. Beautiful blue skies. It's about probably mid 70s. Uh, not too bad on humidity, feels really good. So yeah, more to come. Real, real soon, more towns, more events, things like that. Good time here at Matthews, it's very busy, and I'm gonna go eat some lunch. Not sure where yet, I just called Connie. We're gonna do something. So stay tuned for more. Please like, subscribe, it's free, doesn't cost you anything. I'd really appreciate it. If, you know, if you've been to Matthews, please comment if you know of other places here in the town. I'm sure people would like to know. But yeah, we covered a lot of stuff here at Matthews. Okay guys, and I'll have more stuff in the description. 
and about Matthew. So you can visit that site as well, learn more. And we'll see you soon. Okay, you all take care. Bye-bye.